Like, really? Hi, this is Clayton Surratt for Geek Week Online, and I just stumbled upon something that happened to be in my very neighborhood today, and I thought you, want, you might want to see it. This is a game of real-world Quidditch. What is real-world Quidditch? Well, it's something that they've done to uh, translate the games of Harry Potter into the real world, and I'll let them explain it to you. I don't want to be rude. I'm Clayton. Sir, what are you covering it for? Uh, I'm covering it for Geek Week Online. Sure. My name is Alex Benepe and I'm the IQA Commissioner. Outstanding. And so you've been doing this for four years? That's correct, since 2007. Fantastic. Uh, that's and you're the Commissioner, have you always been the Commissioner? Did you yeah. kind of found this thing? Okay. Uh, Xander Mansell was a classmate of mine at Middlebury College and he came up with the idea of trying to play real life Quidditch. And I was one of his friends and we got our friends together and just decided to give it a try. And I was pretty skeptical at first, but it's a, it's a fantastic game. I mean, J.K. Rowling created something really cool and Xander adapted it to real life in a way that's very functional and very entertaining and very exciting to watch and play. Uh, I've been watching for a little bit and I also think it's pretty exciting and pretty cool. Um, can you kind of explain, without explaining Quidditch for people who don't know Quidditch, just yeah. sort of how did you make it uh, a real life thing? What's sure. different about it? Uh, obviously the lack of flying brooms is the main thing. So people run around with a broom between their legs, they hold with one hand. Um, and that actually makes the game very challenging, kind of like, dri kind of like dribbling the ball in basketball. Uh, you're basically playing a one-handed game. Um, so uh, then you have the in the in the books, the bludger is a magical ball that flies all around the field uh, and tries to hit people. Um, and the beaters have bats to hit it away. So Xander simplified that in our game by just having a dodgeball and you throw it at people. If you get hit with a ball, you have to run back to your hoops and drop any ball you're holding. So it knocks you out of play. And then the central point of the game that really made this version of Quidditch successful is the snitch, uh, which is who is usually a varsity cross country runner, ideally, good distance runner, um, good wrestling and acrobatic skills, uh, someone who can really evade and, and get away from the seekers. Well, the seekers have to chase them. They have a little ball sock in the back of their shorts, and to catch them, you have to chase them down and rip it out. You get an extra 30 points to your team, game's over. They have no limitations on where they have to be. They can leave the field, they can run anywhere on the park. They can climb trees, they can ride bikes, they can jump on the backs of cars, whatever they want. Whatever they need to do to get away is kosher in real life footage. Good way um, for people to have fun who don't necessarily tend to be drawn to those sorts of really competitive sports. And of course we have our share of really competitive people too. I mean looking out here we've got some serious athletes. But I think the part that I love the most is that it sort of gives these people who wouldn't necessarily meet the opportunity to meet and become really great friends. How long have you guys been playing Quidditch? That kid is um, about two years. Two, two, two and a half, three years, something like that. A year. Yeah. How often do you guys get together? Once a week, every Sunday. Once a week, every yep. Sunday, really? Yeah. Rain or shine, no matter what uh, time of year it is? No matter what. Yep. Wow, that's pretty dedicated. You played in the snow, you played in the rain, you played in everything? Yep, whatever. <laughs> I wish you love the mud. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen you down here at DeWitt Clinton Park. Where do you usually play? Um, we, we're from Montville, New Jersey. Last exit on the parkway. That's where we usually play. Very nice. <laughs> How many teams are in your league? Um, the IQA. The IQA has hundreds and hundreds of teams. We're not an official team. A lot of us are on our, t our school's teams and we just, during the summer when we're off from school, gather together and... So we all play always, but then there's this is our summer league. Yeah, so yeah. we have like a summer team and then we have our school teams that we play shape. with. I'm from SC. Gotcha. <laughs> Do you think you guys got to keep on playing even after the uh, Harry Potter uh, last movie comes out? Oh yeah, without, oh, yeah. A doubt. without a doubt. It's, it's a fun sport. Yeah, for me it's, it's more about the sport than the Harry Potter. I mean the Harry Potter stuff is all fun and it's a lot of fun on the sidelines and getting rowdy and being all into it, but like honestly the sport itself is a lot of fun and even if there was no Harry Potter aspect, I'd still be playing it. So you may have noticed that we've got two of our players actually outside of the soccer field and that's because they are the Seekers. And they're looking for the snitch, which could be just about anywhere outside the field. And uh, as previously explained to me, he could be riding a bike, he could be climbing a tree, he could be riding a car. And it's their job to find him. Let's follow the Seekers.
And just like that, real world Quidditch is over. The stitch has been been grabbed, and the game is over. How long have you guys been playing Quidditch? That kid, um, about two years, two, two, two and a half, three years, something like that. A year. Yeah. Yeah. How often do you guys get together? Once a week, every Sunday. Once a week, every yep. Sunday, really? Yeah. Rain or shine, no matter what uh, time of year it is? No matter what. Yep. Wow, that's pretty dedicated. Back you played in the snow, you played in the rain, you played in everything? Yep, whatever. <laughs> I wish love the mud.